Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've got my sketchbook out. I, we did uh, a version of this sketch. I kind of changed it a bit. But today I'm going to do a version of this one. I'm umming and ahhing about the, turning this into a mountain rather than a grassy hill. <laughs> I've been umming and ahhing about it for a bit actually. I keep looking at it thinking, what if it was a mountain? What if it was a grassy hill? Hmm, maybe I'll leave it the way it is, I'm not sure. But we'll have a go at this painting, and then uh, see how it comes out, really. Got a couple more to do, this one and this one. And then I've got another page of sketches that I've been working on. I've just started some. <laughs> some random ones. I feel like that should be Gollum there. <laughs> anyway, whoops. Move that out of the way, just so I can see it. Um, and I'm going to start the painting process. So I've put a couple of colours extra on my palette. I'm using the same palette as before. I put it in the fridge. I've got ultramarine blue, sap green, cabin yellow, vermilion red. There's some purple. Oh, you couldn't see that some purple there, although it looks black, it's purple, yeah, some red, uh, titanium white, brown black, burnt sienna, so we'll, we'll start with the sky anyway, a bit of sky, we had blue sky, we're going through a blue sky period, <laughs> nice blue sky, Got a bit of green in it, tiny bit. So I'll we'll use this, the ultramarine blue. So it's not that much sky, sort of there, that bit there, a bit that comes down here. And then we got the mountains or hills. Grassy hills. I suppose they would look like mountains if they were uh, in the winter when it's snowing. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Add a bit of cloud in there. So what I might do. I wondered what this purple looked like. Got to admit, I've not used it for uh, ages. I had a bit of white in it. Maybe a bit of red in it. Mm. Bit of blue in it. Would that look like a distant hill if it was a bit lighter? In the middle of that, maybe might do that. Yeah, sometimes I just throw on a color um, that I don't normally use, and it's a bit light actually, and just have a go with it. I think the palette of colors can get a little bit. Um, bit crazy when you're learning. <laughs> What's for me? I was like grabbing all these different colours then I'd have a look. What do the masters use? What did what colours did they use? Maybe I'm using the wrong colours, that's why my paintings look rubbish. <laughs> I actually used to think that. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter what colours you use, let's be honest. You can mix colours and create all sorts. I used to think the same with brushes as well. I'd be like, oh, I need, I need this brush. I need that brush. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get good at this. I'm gonna, how much of a, how much is that brush? 50 quid, mm, I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'll stick with my one pound 50 brush. That's what these are. 
Um, what are we doing? <laughs> we was going to do this grassy, or was we? Since I've used that purple there, I might use it on this as well. I just uh, had a mouth mouthful of some peach juice. Oh no, it was not peach, it was tr a tropical with a bit of peach. Ah. <laughs> Tropical. Tastes like peach though. I'll have to have a look to see what's in it. Nice though. Nice and refreshing. Let's build the mountain again. <laughs> It's fun painting mountains, isn't it? I don't know why. I suppose because I never see them. <laughs> There's no mountains where I live. None at all. It's a shame. You have to go all the way up north to the Lake District to see mountains. I just grabbed a little bit of white there. Maybe I will do a snowy mountain now. Because now it's starting to look a bit like that. Oh, I kind of didn't want to do that. I just thought I'd put a little bit of light there. But I got rid of that nice dark. I'll keep some of this dark. Have a different layer there. So I'm going even lighter and I can go down the bottom part, get that sort of mistiness. We'll take that down to about there, I suppose. That's looking pretty cool. Let's wash my brush. No, I've got to think about this now, because I originally was going to have water in here. Well, this has gone all snowy. <laughs> it, it looks like winter now, doesn't it? Um, um, well, what we can do, I suppose... I'll just get myself some white and blue. We was going to use that we was using in the sky. I can still put the water in. It's going to be a bit a bit think of it be a bit icy. Now it looks quite good actually the way it is. I need to get it quite straight as well. I think. I don't mind blending that top part with my finger. Not quite icy. White. And then we was going to bring it, it was going to bring down, wasn't it, around like that. Well, <laughs> things have changed. Things sure have changed already. The painting is different. It's changed season. So I can always paint it again and do the... Uh, summer version, can't I have a version where it is a grassy uh, mountain like I was going to do originally 
no problem. No problem to change it if I want to. Okay, so what I'm thinking, because this has happened, <laughs> I'm tempted to put some dark into the water as well to match up with this. Might just put like little areas of it so it's got a bit of a, a reflection in there. Doesn't necessarily need to be amazing. Right, so I'm gonna have a bit of light coming shim, this way. So I'm gonna pick up some white. I might put a little bit of, because uh, I don't want it to be too bright too soon. So I tend to go with like a color, a mountain color maybe first. And this can be our first bright. And then we can go a bit lighter after. So we've got the light coming here. Maybe we can have a bit on that there as well. I know it's distant, but it's nice to have a little bit of light hitting it. You can always miss some of it out. It quite soft back there. I need a bit more bluey colour on that. And then we can uh, sort of bring this down here. Just using the corner of my brush, really. And let it, letting it sort of break as it comes down. Soften that with my finger. See, as it dries, if you do that, I find you can get a bit nicer effect myself. I can go like down here, I think, and then maybe there's a piece that goes like that. Maybe there's another piece there. Make make your mountain the way you want it to be. Get this bit coming down like that. A nice bit of light hitting it. And then I want a bit of a, a bluey light. Just grabbing a little bit of blue in my white. And I can sort of put in some colour coming this way.
more of a bluish look to that. I didn't quite get that. <laughs> that didn't quite look blue for some reason. Might be a bit colder than it was. That's a bit better. A bit, a bit of an iciness to that. Just sort of pull that out in front there. I'm just trying to create another area in front of that so it's not. I'm probably going to send this backwards. <laughs> I'll let it dry a little bit and then that's probably what I'll do. Um, the the light in the water as well. I'm going to give this sort of a a bit of a hint of something so it reflects. I'm not going to uh, go into complete detail, but it's nice to have something. Similar. Some of the uh, bits of blue. I might leave it at that for that area. Um, now I can choose. Have a bit more of a drink. So you can have a drink break and think about what you're doing. <laughs> go hmm what's this dark bit here <laughs> what's going on there why is that there is this way too dark isn't it so we're gonna get a little bit of color there's only a little bit of color on my brush I'm gonna go over the top of this With a bit of light colour. It's reactivated a little bit there. <laughs> Whoops. But I don't mind. And I can put the light back in like that. See there's still like a a dark bit here I don't like. It's all because I wanted to soften that. <laughs> it does look better. I prefer it anyway. Make your make your choices, don't you? Make your choices and you gotta stick to them. Or you can change them like I am. It's a bit of mist in there. Get rid of that. <laughs> it's good what you can do though, isn't it? Amazing what you can do. Just to change things so easily. So now I want a bit of light, but I want a bit of, I'm going to get a little bit of cadmium yellow. Oh, sounds like thunder out there. A little bit of cadmium yellow and white. I 
I'm running out of space on this palette. <laughs> but now I've got my real highlight color. This is the real serious highlight. So this light is now, it's gonna really hit this. Tap it away, give it a bit of a movement again. Any areas I don't want it to be quite as bright, I can do that. That's quite nice, actually. Adds a nice glimpse of light, doesn't it? I can have a bit there as well. Just hitting that area, maybe there as well. In that area. And we can uh, throw a little bit of that in here. Bit in there. Okay. Now I want a bit of snow. So I'm, this is a, a different idea to what I originally had. So I'm gonna want some snow going along here. There's a nice light there, nice shadow. Um, we got, we're gonna have snow. We're gonna have some trees. We had trees on like a bank here, um, but I don't know if I want them there. I might put them there on a bank. So we'll just make the snowy bank. <laughs> um, I'll put a bit of blue in it. Right there. Yeah, something like that. Um, I might use a different brush. I've been nearly painting the whole thing with that one brush. Another drink while I think. So I'm thinking, <laughs> well, we've got some, uh, got some nice purple, haven't we? Putting this purple on has totally changed everything. <laughs> Get some blue, blue and purple. Nice dark. Oh, just dipped my finger in some paint somehow. Oh well, never mind. We'll have a tree. Maybe this was a bit of a freak storm. And the, the tree has still got its leaves on, but it's got snow all over it. it wasn't supposed to snow. A couple of trees like that, and then uh, another one there. as well. One of the things which I think is really good 
about paint. <laughs> There's some things that really works when you do your dark and then you can do your water reflection and if you've used enough paint up the water reflection works out really nice because uh, it comes because dark gets lighter in water and uh, everything kind of gets duller mostly anyway so anyway there we go We'll have that land go to about there. So now we've got to think the uh, one side is going to be more bluey coloured, and the other side is going to have snow. It. Well, it's all going to have snow on it, but one's going to be a bit more cold like this, a bit more colder than the other. So I'll put my cold highlight on first. So just pick out your, on your tree, when you look at your tree, think about all the areas that you want to have sort of a cold snow on it. <laughs> you can put in some colour on your reflection as well. I'm just going to pull it down a little bit as well. I'm not going to have that perfect reflection, really. Just want a bit of a reflection. <laughs> so the other side, while that's drying, I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll put some more colour on it. What I need is some snow going along here. So we did have a few trees up here, but I don't think I want them in now because that would block up this part of the mountain that I like. <laughs> so I'll just keep putting in some of this. Bit of blue, bit of white. Just cools it down, bit of a bit of land jutting out there maybe. No, down here. Have that snow on the bottom there as well. Can't really get rid of that purple. I have to wait for that to dry. Get that water uh, shored up like this. So 
See, I was fighting every urge there because <laughs> I wanted to change it to, to put trees in this side and do something different. But, you know, that I'm trying to fight auto, auto painting. It's something I believe there is something called auto painting. <laughs> and I know people do it. It's where uh, people paint the same sort of mistakes in their scenes over and over and over um, because they're, they're not quite looking at what they're doing. They go into auto painting mode and you just go in auto mode, just like if you're working a manual job or something like I do, or put um, the fruit and veg out in the more early morning and you just automatically do it while you're thinking about other stuff and that mindset happens with people when you, you, when you paint as well auto painting it's called <laughs> by Jason Bowen he invented it no one else worked out that people did it <laughs> yeah and you can uh, you can end up doing like the same mountain or the same landscape scene over and over and over and uh, it's because or, or say you make an error in the way you do something and then you just make that same error over and over it's something I'm aware of so I fight it <laughs> um, there must be a few people watching thinking auto painting what? what what does that mean <laughs> is he just making stuff up yeah it's weird isn't it auto it's like people drive automatically all these things like driving auto driving anything that you can do automatically it's the same with painting Trying to get this sort of a sort of a mist there going. That purple is battling with me a little bit. Alright, now I can get some white snow. Quite light pressure. Yeah, the first time I realised there's such a thing as auto painting is when I did a few paintings and it might be just me that has it. <laughs> I might be the only person that does it. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, and what I was... Uh, I did a few mountain scenes and I painted the mountain exactly the same in every painting. <laughs> and I looked at it and I was like, hmm... That's not right. God, that's nice, isn't it? A bit of snow. I like doing this. I like doing it when you, when you got that shadow, nice shadow side, and then you just come and get that little bit of snow on there. You're picking out the areas where the light is. I just, I love it. I love the highlights. Can't get enough of the highlights. Some people, they want the high life. I just want to do the highlights. <laughs> there we go. Just sort of looking, sitting back, having a look. Seeing what needs, what's needed. I do like that. I just want to get rid of some of that. There's a bit of a bluish hint going in there. Looks cold, doesn't it? I like that. Right, let's get a bit of white. 
Bit of the duller white. I won't go too crazy with that, so what I want to do is I want to get some white. I, you know, I would normally bang a big tree in that end, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to leave it just as snow. Just as snow. Some, I want to do something different. Just put in a little bit of a... Uh, Indication of a few uh, few branches. Branches wherever you want and then uh, using a bit of white. I'm gonna have to do some flat. Strokes, one there. Just to make that more obvious that it is a reflection, I'm going to put a bit of blue in it. Hmm, I really like this. It's got a really nice a bit, of, a bit of blue there. Could always put a very fine. Blue line along there. Yeah. I think we're about there. You can put all kinds of little things in there. You know what I might do? <laughs> Maybe I could put a little... Uh, a tree that was once there, like here. But it's uh, since gone. Unfortunately, at some point it blew down. Maybe it got a bit too cold for it, and it put a bit of blue in it. Okay, something like that. So I'm looking at the whole painting. I thought, am I finished? Am I finished? And I gotta be honest, I feel like the um, the mountain is a bit flat still. I think it needs a bit of something. Needs a bit of something sort of coming out. Like it's got a separation that's. I 
think what it is, is I've got rid of too much of the dark parts of the mountain and I'm missing some. So I might just paint some back in. Okay, <laughs> I do actually like that better. It's not quite there yet, but um, yeah, I just felt like I'd flattened the mountain a bit. See, that's got a bit more to it now. break some of that away and this can sort of go into there like that yeah I like that a lot lot better Got more um, depth, isn't it, in the mountain? I prefer that, so I think I'll stick with that one. Twist or stick? I'm gonna stick. <laughs> Maybe there's a bit more dark there. It's needed right there under that bit, just to break that piece out as well. But yeah, you you can really go into. Uh, a lot of detail with mountains though, can't you? I think I'll, uh, I'll call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.